So today I was thinking about what I could do for a video and I was toying around with the idea of doing something about backing up with the trailer. I'm out here at work and I've got to back this chipper up quite a length of road because uh, there's really no way to turn around because of the weather and the road and whatnot. And I've done this a little bit on a few different projects and I'd say that's probably how I learned how to back up essentially. That's really where my training in how to move a trailer around in reverse comes from. Uh, I also spent some time as an over the road truck driver and I gained a little bit of knowledge there but actually ironically a lot of people might not know this if they haven't backed up a trailer but the shorter the trailer the harder it is to back up. So a lot of people would think oh man those guys that gotta back up those big 53 foot trailers or 48 foot trailers man that's gotta be rough and the reality is it's a lot harder to back up a 28 foot trailer or a 12 foot trailer or a situation like I have where there's really only 10 foot between my hitch and the axle on this chip and that makes it actually harder to back up because it's a quicker reaction time from when you touch the wheel so if you you know you turn the wheel one way it's gonna translate into a much quicker movement on those that trailer axle or axles if it's shorter than if it's longer and that's where a lot of people get, have a hard time backing up is that fluid rhythm or timing of how to correct and when to correct when backing up. And I'm not really going to go into depth, but I think there's a couple of tricks that I can help people with as far as backing up. There's one really cool trick that my grandfather actually taught me. When I was out over the road and teaching other guys how to back up, I never really ran across anyone to explain it to this way. And I explained it this way to a couple of people and they said it really clicked with them and really helped them as far as just the fundamental idea of moving a trailer backwards in reverse. So I thought I'd cover that and then maybe one or two other things but uh, just something quick and easy about some tips for backing up a trailer. So where I'm working today is kind of one of those situations where I gotta pull this equipment and this chipper in and there's really only one way to get out which is to back up. When you look at your steering wheel and you're backing up a trailer it's important to think of it in a couple of ways. So this is your steering wheel. You're backing up a trailer. If you were just in a pickup or a vehicle backing up a vehicle, you basically would imagine two arrows at the top of your steering wheel. There's an arrow that's pointing to your right, like that, and then there's an arrow pointing to your left. So if the top of your steering wheel goes to the left, your vehicle is going to turn left. Now, if you want to turn right and you've just got a vehicle and you turn your top of your steering wheel to the right, you're going to go right. Well, it's a little bit different if you have a trailer on. If you have a trailer on, you imagine your steering wheel, your arrows at the bottom of your wheel. So if you want to move your trailer left, you move the bottom of your steering wheel to the left. If you want your trailer to move right, you move the bottom of your steering wheel to the right. So you kind of imagine that arrow going off. You know, this is to the right. If I've got a trailer on and I move the bottom to the right, then my trailer's gonna go right. If I move the bottom to the left, the trailer's gonna go left. So basically the trick is top unhooked, hooked up on the bottom and then you just use your arrows. Another tip that I have that I found helpful in learning to back things up is when you're backing up and you want to make a correction one way or the other, start with just one corner turn uh, either direction and then wait until you see that adjustment translate into movement in your trailer and the mirrors, then move back and then go to your next correction if you have to. If you start turning it, you know, you do like two whole turns or one whole turn in one movement, you're really gonna mess yourself up and it's really gonna translate into getting your trailer all jackknifed and if you're in front of other people or trying to get a boat in the water or a situation like that, it can be real funny for other people but probably embarrassing for yourself. The tip here is to, is to figure out, are my wheels straight? Are the wheels, the steer wheels on my vehicle, are they straight ahead? or what, you know, what are they doing? Well, I have my wheels perfectly straight right now. 
And how you figure this out, the first thing you need to know is how far does your steering wheel go before it stops, before you know it locks up all the way in one direction. And the best way, the best way that I know how to do that is to get them straight. You know. So once you've got it straight, go one direction or the other, I'm gonna choose the left. So I'm gonna count. You see, I've got a Dodge here and we've got this Ram's horn right here. I'm gonna use that as my indicator. And then you just count the turns, you know, one full revolution. I'm gonna turn until I see that Ram's head upright again. So now that he's upright again, that's one turn. Upright again, two turns. And then almost a quarter turn. So we'll call it two and a quarter and that's as far as it goes. So I'm all the way to the left now. So I go a quarter, one, back at top, two, back at top. So that's two and a quarter. So I know without looking that I am perfectly straight, that my wheels are straight. And you can do the same thing to the right. Go one turn, see the ram's head again, two turns, he's upright again, and then almost a quarter. So I let it go back to the top. There's a one quarter, one, two perfectly straight again and you can use that tool to help you figure out where your wheels are so you don't get you know all messed up hopefully backing up or even executing a three-point turner That's my video for the day. If it was helpful, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't know how to say that word. Subscribe. Like it if you like it. If not, take it with a grain of salt. Have a nice day. Let's see if I can't do some driving in forward today. Thanks for watching.